Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So it's Thursday and there's a bunch of new events. Let's go over how you can make the most of them. And on top of that, let's showcase the rewards you can obtain from this free pack. Check your rewards reclaim agent and go to promo and you can pick up the Way of the Drought choice pack. This is just to celebrate, yeah, the launch of module 24 and just some free gifts with the collaboration with Ore Salvador and Geno Salvador in bringing North Dark Reaches to module 24. This pack you can see right here is a choice pack and you do can double click that to obtain one of the following. I'm gonna go and copy this pack over multiple times and we can showcase each of the rewards. But ultimately you can obtain a free Drid's Dwarden, which is one of the best companions to have of summoned to support your party so they can deal extra damage. And otherwise in combination with like Wolfgar it is one of the best companions to give you a decent amount of stats we'll go over the rest of the rewards showcasing the hairstyles later on in the video but additionally we have the event returning harvester of nightmares it's a 21 progression event and after every week you can obtain more rewards you can read through exactly about it and once you get to week three so you've 14 days completed you obtain a token of achievement and then can start earning tokens of challenge now you can see here is the event place just here and every day you want to go to this guy just here this npc and just speak to him and pick up the quest that he's going to give you hunting the harvester and this will give you the rewards as you can see dream filled cash and it's very simple guys you just obtain that quest and then you can go to like your zone chat or looking for group chat and just give a plus event or just invite everybody who says plus event then go to your queues and just queue for the event you can also just queue it publicly but you might end up with yeah maybe not the best players you might have more of a rough time and you just go kill everything in one arena go to the next arena kill everything and go to the final arena and beat up the boss and you're done week two i believe you can fight an optional second boss and i believe on week three then you just fight two bosses and clear one room and you're done but additionally we have the trade bar discount event which is awesome for getting upgrade tokens you can see here you can go and you can purchase those tokens for just two trade bars per token and this means you can gain an insane amount of character progression by saving trade bars and then you can use them to upgrade the companions you need which is what i'm going to do on my wizard now to get trade bars well you can use your enchanted keys to open lock boxes there are nine older ones which are really good for trade bars i've made a video just look up like the best lock box to open in like module 24 or 2022 and otherwise there's going to be astral lock boxes you can buy with astral diamonds which will give you trade bars well worth it just for the trade bars however right now they're not available you can see hello the Al astral lock box is indeed not yet available we're working on it thanks for your patience but you should be able to buy the astral lock boxes at just sixty thousand astral diamonds and just from the trade bars alone, they value at like 200,000. So you absolutely get your money back if you are to buy them with Astro Diamonds. You can also buy them from other players from the auction house. They usually are a bit more expensive. But additionally, we have times two refining stones. And here I would recommend you go and you look up the video for Dreadring farming. You want to go to Dreadring and you want to go to your certain layer depending on the day. Right now, I believe it's thursday still and you'll gain enchanting stone rank fives from the phantasmal fortress but as soon as it becomes friday stop farming them and because you'll only get extra scripts you want to wait till the weekend just keep an eye out on these days and the time shift is a bit weird so make sure it says like illusion over here on the top right when you're in dread ring and that way you'll know you'll be getting enchanting stones when you're in as you can see the phantasmal fortress and on the weekend when it says liberation that's when you can go there if it says necromancy don't go farming there 
And ultimately, the rewards with the Harvester of Nightmares. You can see you can spend participation tokens here. I recommend getting companion upgrade tokens or mount tokens if you need them. And then for challenge, I recommend getting legendary insignias if you need them. Otherwise, you can get some very nice overloads. And then achievement token, I recommend getting coal moats or say for the Staldorf account or you can just save them all together and see if they add some better rewards down the road. Well, unfortunately, I cannot copy it to the previous server as there's currently a error there. We can just have a, again a look at the rewards. You can get the Renegade Drow Race Unlock. I do not recommend it because you can simply just go and follow my recent video and you can get this thing for free via uh, a redemption code. However, you might be on consoles or you might be playing from Steam default account or from Epic Games and thus you might wanna get it through there. And then the hairstyles, yeah, they're just hairstyles. I would recommend getting Insignia instead of those. However, people might be interested in what they look like. And I believe if you go to appearances, you can see what the appearances look like. They cost like 700 Zen. And you can see this is the Caddy Breeze hairstyle just there with kind of the side braid there. And then you have also Drid's hairstyle, which he's just like so. I don't see it as too much different to other options. But again, that's what you have there as an option to choose. Very nice Drid's you can get for free. Everybody can now have them. Just keep in mind, it's not like account unlock. So yeah, keep that in mind. Again, equip it on the character you want to. Otherwise, when you do claim it, it is bound on pickup, so you won't be selling it. Personally, since I do have Drids already, I'm just going to go and get the alteration manual for Katibri's braid hairstyle. Instead of spending 700 Zen, I can get it that way. And what you will need to do with that, I believe, is go over down here to the tower of alteration you interact with this place you can see it's on the on the map just over here and you interact and this will allow you to go to this alteration wizard and will allow you to go and change all of your appearance so that's great but let's make sure it actually gives us a costume change token we double click that and you can see we just obtained the hairstyle and then it's gone. It doesn't seem it actually gives you. That is very tricksy, cryptic. Naughty, naughty. Basically, what that means is if you want to change your appearance and actually use that hairstyle you got, well, you're going to have to go and actually purchase an appearance change token. I'm actually not sure where they list them anymore, but you can get one free via the Cloak Descendancy campaign. You can look that up. I've made a video on that before as well. And ultimately you will use that then to be able to change your hairstyle to that option. There we go. We finally found it. Catty Breeze hairstyle. We can see it looks just like so. It's pretty cool, I guess. You get the braid to the side, which tucks under. Am I going to change to that instead of using my normal hair? I don't think so, to be honest. I'm fairly happy with this hair. But again, you will need a costume change token, and I don't believe you actually get one with that hairstyle, which is a bit of a joke. So you would either have to race reroll your character or obtain another one of those tokens via the Cloak Descendancy campaign. Massive thank you to all of these channel members for their added support. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.